welcome back to my channel so i'm back with 15 exciting beauty hacks every beauty lover should know and some of these hacks are so weird but trust me they absolutely work so let's go ahead and get started So my first hack is for my wig lovers, especially if you're living in a hot climate weather where your wigs tend to smell because of heat. And the best thing to use to keep your wig smelling clean and fresh to your next wash is fabric softener sheets. I use this to preserve the cap area to my next wash and this just helps kill all the smell and keep your wig smelling very fresh and clean. So for hack number two, making my false lashes to easily apply after so many uses has always been a battle but the easiest way to fix the shape of your false lashes is by wrapping it around your index finger. That way it will easily adapt to your eye shape. This next hack is something I recently started doing and it absolutely works. If you want your perfume to last you all day, just spray it on these strategic joints on the body, your wrist, inside your elbow, at the base of your throat, behind your ears and knees and you will find that the scent sticks with you longer than just spraying it on your outfit. So I've disposed a bunch of my gel liners because they dried up and when this happens it's very difficult to get them to apply and the best way to revive a dried gel liner is to use Visin eye drops. Simply add about 2-3 to three drops of the Visin and mix the gel together. After that your gel liner becomes absolutely pigmented. Alright, so this next hack is something I do almost all the time, especially when I have my hair in a bun. And the easiest way to fill bald areas on the hair is to use a mascara very close to your natural hair color. I just love to use the brush on the mascara and comb it on all the areas and this helps fill in and give an illusion as though you have a full hairline. My sixth hack is using a perfume as a nail polish remover. This actually works but you have to spray the perfume directly on the nails and on the cotton balls and then gradually begin rubbing it on your nail polish. I decided to show this clip without cutting it so you guys see it works. I love this as an emergency backup especially when your polish chips and I remember as a teenager how I used to apply my mom's nail polish during the weekends and then forget to remove it during school days and this landed me into so many punishments. I guess I guess if I knew about this hack, those punishments wouldn't have happened. <laughs> So this right here is one weird hack I use all the time especially when I put my makeup before wearing my outfits and to prevent my makeup from transferring on my clothes especially bright colored clothes or turtlenecks I simply use a plastic bag to cover my face that way my clothes can easily pass through my face without ruining my makeup or transferring on my outfit. For my next hack, you can actually warm up your mascara to get the most use out of them by sticking it into your boobies while applying your makeup and the heat from there helps warm it up or you can simply put it in a hot water to warm it up and get it very liquidy and pigmented. Another weird hack is using a panty liner to blot oil from the face. I find this to be the best oil blotting technique because it dries up all the oil on my face without removing my makeup unlike some blotting paper that removes makeup and leaves patches on the face. With matte and liquid lipsticks being the most trending topics in makeup and we know they can cost quite a lot from high-end brands, well, you can actually make your own matte lipstick by simply dabbing some translucent powder on your lips before or after applying your favorite lipstick and this automatically turns it into a matte finish. So for my 11th hack, this is something I do mostly in the dry winter weather and it's adding olive oil to my body cream. Winter tends to dry out the body leaving it very ashy even when you apply your body lotion. So I always use 100% cooking olive oil and mix it with my lotion and this leaves the body very moisturized for hours without any dryness or ashiness. To plump and give your lips that fuller effect, simply add few drops of peppermint oil into your lip gloss and the tingly sensation from the oil will give you an instant lip plump. This particular hack works wonders, I love it.
Okay, so I've never been a fan of doing my own manicure because I get the nail polish smeared all over my fingers But the easiest way to avoid this is to apply some Elma school glue on your cuticles Before applying your nail polish and then peel them off afterwards and this will give you a perfect manicure Also, another fuller lip hack is to apply some powder highlight at the center of your lips after putting on your favorite lipstick and then top it off with a lip gloss and this will leave your lips looking fuller than it actually is. And my 15th and final hack is a simple white eyeliner trick. Using a white liner on your waterline helps open up the eyes, especially when you get less sleep, when you are tired or had a hangover. And this my loves completes this video. I hope you all enjoyed and if you did, don't forget to share it, subscribe and like and till my next video, I will see you all very very soon. Bye! Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. So this will be my drugstore foundation, contour and highlight makeup tutorial and I 